in the tube now, time for another one of my not requested videos, sort of requested, well it was requested in a way, anyway, uh, I'll show it now. Uh, basically how to run Windows programs on a Mac, and that's without using boot camp, which means you have to keep turning it off and not opening on Windows, which I have done, but my Windows actually stopped working and I keep getting BSFD all the time, which is really annoying, or uh, you can use Parallels which is really slow, takes up a lot of my RAM, both of which cost money. So I'm going to show you a free way without having to change from Mac that actually is quite quick and easy to use. It's called Wine. So uh, here's this. Here we're on the website winebottler.cronenberg.org, this will be in the description. And as it says, Wine Bottler run Windows apps on OS 6. And here you've got the download button so if you just click on that and download it it's about 40 megs um so depending on your internet connection how long that will take and then once it's finished downloading you should get this here and all you want to do is drag wine bottler applications just give them that and then drag wine into applications and that will take a few seconds Into our applications folder and wine um, should be somewhere, so it just takes a sec to find that. Here it is, I'm just opening it. Right, and now it has a lot of um, installation here which allow you to do certain things from Microsoft, you just install the ones you want, um, pretty self-explanatory really, it shows you what you're allowed to do. Um, and the programs wise, so install anything you need from that, um, and then it will say uh, your general preferences, that's how you check for updates, and then um, it it's given me some things here automatically. Here are the prefixes, so you close that and then um, you find your program that you want to open from Windows. So um, I'm going to look for an OSGBA, which is my. Um, DS emulator. Um, at the moment, I've set it to open. If I just open the new Wine 61 type file, it says creating Wine files. So, what you do is you right click and you click open with Wine on your uh, exe. Now, not all of them will work. Um, some programs do and don't work. There's actually a Wine database, you look it up, just search for Wine database and it does reviews on which programs work well with Wine and which don't. So, um, I was just doing this. Now it says prefix created successfully. So now, um, you should just be able to Double click on it and open it, and uh, comes up with the process list and my log. Just wait for a bit, it does take a while to get started up. And then here it appears, and that should be your um, oops, Windows program working perfectly normally, um, like that. Uh, Obviously note that um, here you need to use control C and control V if you're copying and pasting anything because it thinks it's Windows and it runs just like a Windows. So that's uh, Wine. I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial. Um, please comment, rate and subscribe if you like it. Thanks. Goodbye.